Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you guys how to retrieve quotes from TD Ameritrade's API. In order to use this API, you don't need to authenticate anything. You just need your API key. So we're going to write a function to retrieve quotes. So here I'll paste the URL for the API. I'm also going to place this URL under the description area of this video. And you just need to place your API key in here. So I'll use temp read json url simplify vector we'll set that equal to true so i'll test this out by setting ticker equal to apple so i'll run these two lines we'll take a look at temp so this is all the data it returned So we're going to change temp into a data frame. We'll take a look at temp again. Now it's a nice data frame. So I'll do some formatting to get rid of the ticker name on the columns. And I'm also going to format the actual timestamps for some of these columns. All right, so I'll start off by changing the column names. I'm going to use G sub. I'll use paste zero to find the ticker along with the period in the column names. I'm going to replace that with the empty space. And I'll look for the pattern under the names of temp. All right, so we'll take a look at temp. And now we actually get the column names without the ticker. All right, so now I'm going to format the timestamps. So the first one I'm going to format is called quote time and long. I'll use as POSIX CT. I'll pass in temp quote time and long. I need to divide by a thousand to get the number of seconds. The origin is 1970-0101. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to format trade time and long. And then the last one will be regular market trade time and long. And then finally just return temp. So I'm going to run these lines. And now we see formatted timestamps. So here's quote time and long, trade time and long, and the regular market trade time and long. All right, so that's it for this function. I'm going to make some requests. So I'm going to send some tickers. I'll do Apple. Amazon, Netflix, Google, and Facebook. So I'll run this line. I'll then do L apply as list, tickers. My function will be get quote TD. I'm going to go ahead and run this line. And according to the API, we can make up to 120 requests per minute. So then I'll do do call R bind. And I'll pass in my list called all. We'll take a look at all. So now we get a nice data frame with the current quotes. So we have the ticker description the bid and the ask price along with their size, the last traded price, some open high low close prices, the change for the day, the volume, and the market is currently closed. These quotes are for after hours trading. We even get some volatility 
along with 52 week highs and lows for that ticker, the PE ratio, dividend yield and amount, the past dividend day. These are the actual quotes for the market close. I believe this number is the number of shares at the close. We get the market change in points, the closing timestamp, the changes in points, and in percent of where it's currently trading at. And here we get a Boolean column of whether or not this quote is in real time. So as you see, these are all delayed, I think because the market already closed. So we get a lot of information by using this API. Well guys, that was it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.